Let's turn to foreign policy. Ms. Tong Williams, you said you'd be hesitant to support more financial aid for Ukraine in its ongoing war with Russia, partly because you wonder where the path to victory really is. To be clear, in Congress, are you a no vote on any future funding for Ukraine? I have been saying that for three years now, almost three years, so much being spent, so many people died, and where's the path to victory? Where did the money go? And how can we afford it? It's like, how do we pay for it? We're talking about national debt reduction and the six penny plan for our federal government budget. At the same time, we're going to continue to talk about Ukraine money. On my campaign trail, I can tell you, 95% of people tell me, Lily, we need more money in our district. We need the mental health, we need the rehab centers, we need the maybe senior workers. And, and the, we really don't care about what's going on in other countries right now. I mean, if all the people support that, I urge you to donate. There are lots of billionaires, rich people, and maybe we'll be able to donate some money to Ukrainians and to fight the, 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 you know, the tyranny, the, the aggression. But for our people, they tell me we need our resources here. I will put our people first. So that's a no vote. Ms. Goodlander, the White House recently said that the United States will provide Ukraine with the support it needs to win this war. Should the country continue to pour money into a war in Ukraine if the outcome is so questionable? And should that support be indefinite? Well, first of all, I just want to point out my opponent's solution here is to hurt hardworking people. She wants to freeze federal hiring altogether, uh, which is going to hurt hardworking people all across the state and our country. There are other solutions, and this is why we see the world and our economy very differently. I want to help hardworking people. I want a tax cut for the middle class. And I want solutions that are going to ensure that we've got a country, a tax code, and a way of spending that ensures that everyone is paying their fair share in a deeply American principle. But to the point about Ukraine, I think we must have been traveling around different districts because as I've traveled around this state, from my neighborhood in Nashua all the way up to the North Country, I see Ukrainian flags everywhere I go. The people of New Hampshire understand that this is a fight for freedom and it's a fight for democracy. This is an unjust war that Vladimir Putin waged against a sovereign nation. My opponent believes that the path to peace is through Vladimir Putin. I know from my own professional experience that that is just so dead wrong. You know, you know early what? in my career, if I could finish, please. Early in my career, well, I worked time. for Senator John McCain to take on Vladimir Putin. I'm banned from Russia for life because of that work. And I believe deeply in the cause of freedom in Ukraine. Ms. Tong Williams, 30 seconds. You math cannot add up, okay? And I'm very good with math. Maybe that's still time for aging Americans. If you want to pay all the stuff you want to pay, then do your math. How are we going to pay for it? Mm -hmm. Show me the path. Borrow money from China, or print money to drive up inflation. And uh, you say Ukrainian flag everywhere in Nashua, I have not seen that many. As I said, if Democrats want to do this, billionaires want to do this, neocons want to do this, please do, don't let your own money. So many people have died. It's time to bring peace and talk to the table. President Trump was talking about he will be for peace deals as soon as he gets elected. We it's cannot always. afford to engage in endless wars. And your husband, Jake Sullivan, national security advisor, is causing the world on fire because he's incompetent. He should get fired. Ms. Goodlander, 30 seconds. Again, my opponent is focused on me, and I would appreciate it if we could stick to the issues and not personal attacks. Policies, but I'm focused policies. on... I'm focused on the issues, and this is a real point of your disagreement. Your mess does not add up. The issue is your mess does not well, add up. Ms. Tong Williams, let her finish. This is a real point of disagreement between the two of us. You know, I was really proud to serve for 11 years as an intelligence officer in the Navy Reserve, and one of the things I saw was just how important it is for us to be strong in the face of threats to freedom and democracy around the world. And this is one example where the path to peace does not run through Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump. You know what, Let's I have to say something. Have... Democrat Party has become Ms. party of wars. What happened in the past? Anti-war movement in we the We want to get to many more questions. So let's, let's turn